Hey, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So we're in the office stroke jungle today, whatever you call this room. <laughs> um, if you haven't already, please do like and subscribe to my channel. It does help me a lot to be seen by the algorithms on YouTube. Um, so this is a Celtic cross. So the cards have already been chosen. Um, or when I say chosen, you know, Spirit has chosen what the cards are going to come out for you. So we get a picture already. I'm already getting an idea of what this reading could be about, but we may get some surprises because I'm going to throw in the runes as well to give us a deeper meaning, a clearer path to it. So shall we get into it then? So if you're watching this video, it's possibly because there's something in this that will resonate with you, that will help you with a situation that's on your mind right now. So that's basically what the Celtic cross does. It's about a current situation, what challenges are from that, what you need to focus on, what you're leaving behind, your strengths, and then the future of that, any advice, your environment, hopes and fears, and then the outcome as well. So there's a lot that goes into it. So expect this to be a long reading. Most of the time, they're about 45 minutes to 50 minutes long when I do these. So, but I do really enjoy doing them. So here we go. So let's start with, first of all, what the overall reading is, the situation. So the current situation is coming out as the King of Wands, but it's in the reverse position. Now, with the King of Wands, when he's this way up, he's a very successful, very sexy, very um, knows about himself, knows what he wants, goes after what he wants and usually gets what he wants. Now, when it's in the reverse position, this is telling me about somebody that's perhaps had their confidence knocked that perhaps he's feeling a little bit um, insecure at the moment and maybe a little bit lost as to direction or what they want. Um, there's also an element of feeling frustrated or impatient about feeling in this position as well of like, because I'm getting the energy of somebody that you've got an idea of moving forward. And I do actually, from the cards that have come out, I do feel that this is about gravitating towards an energy, I'm going to say an energy, not a person, an energy of a lifestyle that you are looking to get into or to be part of that perhaps you have before struggled with. But there's a lot with the king in reverse, the king of wands in reverse, about um, possibly holding your emotions back. You know, you're not really allowing yourself to be seen. Um, you need to maybe allow yourself to have compassion for the journey that you've been on. Um, where you are right now is because of the things that you've been through in your life. OK, and I do feel that you are very hard on yourself. You perhaps have the potential to. Um, you are quite a passionate person normally. And when something knocks your confidence, it really does affect you, how you feel in a passionate way. Like I'm getting the idea of somebody that, you know, really has a desire to kind of be intimate with somebody, being held by somebody, but at the same time has a bit of a discord in being able to ask for that. So it's almost like, you know, you've got these desires and passions and things, but you're struggling to ask for that. And it's creating this frustration, this impatience in you. So I'm going to get a rune that goes with that right now. Now this, just because it's the king, doesn't mean that you have to be male. You could be female watching this, but stood more in your masculine energy. Yeah, so mana. So it's kind of like you're becoming more aware of what your needs and wants are. Um, but it's kind of like you're recognising aspects of yourself where your mask kind of needs to come off a little bit. Um, whereas what you were holding on to or holding back before is now not really helping you to move forward. It's kind of holding you back from what you really desire, from what you really want and feeling confident in the ability to move forward. OK, now Manas can also sometimes in a reverse position like this. I mean, Manas isn't reversed. This is reversed. But I'm feeling an energy of somebody that can slip into a little bit of melancholy every now and then. And by that, I mean, sort of like you can feel a little bit low. Um, like the, there may be an element of loneliness occasionally that comes from this. Whereas the King of Wands is normally quite an outgoing person. He's very sociable, very flirty, very, um, you know, has a lot of people around him. And I feel like this energy of somebody that's feeling like they haven't got that at the moment, whereas you normally do. Um so you are kind of looking at yourself as sort of like, what happened to me? What, why have I changed? Why am I different to how I normally perceive myself to be? 
So that is your current situation. That's where you're at right now. So if you're watching this and that resonates with you, then this is definitely your reading. If that didn't resonate with you, then it's possibly not for you today. We have your, um, what is this? Your challenge as the Four of Cups. So again, that kind of goes with that melancholy that I was talking about. The challenge here is you actually feeling like you've got some hope here, um, like that things aren't all lost. Um, it's kind of a feeling like there's been a missed opportunity. Um, like these three cups here are kind of like missed opportunities, things that you might have missed out on. And it's interesting because the three of cups usually represents like friendship and collaboration and being a part of a team, feeling like you're part of something. Um, and it's almost like you feel like you've lost that. You've lost a friendship potentially or a connection. And that's maybe what's made you feel a bit insecure at this time. Um, feeling a little bit unconfident. Um, it's almost like an energy of somebody that, you know, if you've been in a relationship and that you put your all into that relationship and then that relationship ends and you kind of like feel at a loose end as to know where you're going from that. Sorry, there's just two pigeons. They're getting very flirty out there. Seriously, really flirty. Um, and that just, part it's part of the reading, isn't it? So, <laughs> the all is not lost. You are still flirting, I feel. You've got, you do have options. You do have opportunities. You're just not seeing them because of the energy that you're in. Maybe it's something in particular that you feel you've missed out on that you want more than these other things. You know, maybe casual connections and things aren't really that interesting to you anymore if they used to be. So this is kind of asking you to, um, to look at what you are reluctant to change here because maybe you know the, the four of cups is kind of like this person is sad over the three cups that are spilt but they're not really noticing that there's still hope there there's still this cup there so maybe you need to shift your perspective a little bit and recognize actually what you do have available to you what is there um you're telling yourself it's all is lost but actually is it have you really checked all the edges on that one have you really found out whether that's that's the truth and what that one cup might represent is something that you don't want to look at within yourself so the challenge there might be about maybe not wanting to commit to one particular cup <laughs> maybe these three cups that you've lost over here they were potentially you know interesting but they've been lost but there's this one cup over here that actually you know you know is there but you're not seeing it maybe because you don't want to commit to it so let's pop that down on there and grab a rune to go with it. So what is your challenge? What's the rune of challenge on here? Urus. Okay, so it's basically like don't give up hope. There is still hope. You just need to stay um, determined and keep moving towards what it is that you really want. Um, but sometimes we need to really ground ourselves in security and stability of knowing exactly what it is that we want so that we can be more um, forthright in actually achieving it, okay, in actually getting what we want. Um, Urus can be connected to this, the uh, root chakra. So this is kind of like having the ability to really um, trust in our own ability to bring security to ourselves yeah so it's kind of like if you've got this idea in your mind if you've got something that you're feeling like you know yeah maybe all is not lost well maybe use that determination use that energy to find out actually well if that's still there maybe that's more secure than the other three were yeah like that tree in the background it's got roots it's got roots it's grounded and that's kind of like the energy that you are, the challenge is, is are you able to really ground yourself into this? Are you able to put roots down because something is calling you to do that by the look of it? It's why you're not feeling really very secure in yourself. So, and when I say secure, don't, I'm, I mean, a lot, I've heard a lot of people then going, like, I'm secure, I'm secure in myself, how dare you? <laughs> what I mean is, is not, not in all aspects of yourself are you insecure, but it's just this one particular situation that is making you feel impatient, insecure, or just not ready. Um, and that's kind of like, you know, this cup is there, you know that it's there. And Uruz is also that slow moving energy as well. So it's kind of like taking your time, 
patiently, diligently going through something. So what do you need to focus on right now? <laughs> it's funny because we've got the death card in reverse. Now, the death card in reverse, when it's the right way up, this is about like transformation, endings and new beginnings. So when it's in the reverse position, it's not allowing for an ending or a new beginning. It's just halt, like being suspended in space. Um, it's kind of holding on to the past, holding on to maybe past experiences, expecting the same to happen again, which is fair enough because, you know, why would you expect anything different? If you're going towards something in the same way, you can only really expect it to end up the same way. But it's an energy of expecting things to become stagnant. It's a little bit like the Four of Cups there as well. It's almost like a fear of moving into something because of it becoming stagnant or there being boredom. Um, and it's also, you can become too comfortable. Like imagine this, right? You're holding onto this rope that you've held onto all your life. Now, somebody comes along and puts some flooring underneath you, okay? So it's like, you've got something to stand on now, but you're still holding onto this rope. And people are saying to you like, why are you still holding on to that? You don't need to anymore because we've got this floor now. You can actually let go of the rope and go wherever you want. But you're fearful, even though you know and you can see that there's a floor there, you're fearful of letting go because it's all you've ever known. And it can be very difficult to let go of something that's always been what you knew, even if it's becoming unbearable now or uncomfortable, or you know that it's keeping you in a stagnant energy it can be incredibly difficult to let go of. So you are focusing right now on, you know, why are you resisting that change? This is what you need to focus on is like asking yourself these questions because Manas is your overall rune for this reading is asking you to observe yourself and ask these questions. Okay, so Hagalaz is your, in your focus. So this is contemplation. You're definitely in a state of contemplation right now. And you are going through an element of, it's almost like somebody going through, you know, when you, you move in house and you've got box upon box of different things and you're like, what the hell is in this box? Like, how many boxes could I possibly have? And as you start going through it, there's things that you don't even recognise anymore or just don't bring anything for you anymore. And you're like, mm, don't even need that anymore. But we leave it in the box just because it's too much effort or it's draining to get rid of it or do anything with it. And it gets boring, doesn't it? So with Hagalaz here is kind of like you being thrown into having to sort through that box within you and having to go, okay, this doesn't serve me anymore, that's got to go. This doesn't serve me anymore, that's got to go. And although the process may feel shakeable, it might feel difficult um, or uncomfortable in some way, it's actually also very beneficial because it's creating more space for the things that do resonate with you. It's kind of allowing you to create the space so that you don't feel this energy of needing to run away from things. You can be more grounded and be sort of like, right, I can really focus on this particular energy now because I haven't got other distractions or things in the closet that are hiding there that don't serve me anymore. OK, so Hagalas, that's in your focus. That's a very, very powerful rune to have in your focus, to be quite honest. And it's interesting in your energy of letting go, what you're leaving behind is the Three of Swords. Now, the Three of Swords is the heartbreak card. And you have been through many heartbreaks. You know, you've been hurt on more than one occasion, many, many occasions. And there's something in your energy that you need to leave behind because it is blocking you from finding inspiration in the new. This is all kind of suggesting that, isn't it, so far? It's blocking you from finding that inspiration to move forward. Now, this doesn't necessarily have to be about love. It could be about your work as well. It could be sort of like where you're not really feeling like you're finding anything that suits you. But I do feel for some of you, there is that one cup, there is something that you found that does suit you, but you are struggling to commit to it because of the past, because of holding on to this stagnant energy from the past. You may have been through some painful separation here as well, is what I'm feeling. 
um, but keep revisiting that is like holding on to that rope constantly. And eventually, if you keep walking along holding that rope, you're going to get sores all over your hands. And you don't need to do that to yourself anymore. You can let go of this. Allow yourself to let go of the heartache so that you can move forward and find new inspiration, inspired action. Yeah. There is something about grey hair. I don't know what that's all about. You could be feeling a little bit like there's no more hope because of getting older. Um, so if that's you and you're picking up on that, you're feeling that. You have to know that, you know, what's meant for you will find you at any age or stage in your life. Whatever you look like, whatever you feel like, even if you're not in your prime anymore like you used to be, doesn't mean you're not going to find love. Doesn't mean you're not going to find something that won't break your heart. But because you've been hurt so many times before and you've been through this cycle so many times, you're just getting so sick of it. You're just getting so fed up of going round and round in the same cycles. You know, I think this is for me. Oh, no, it's not for me. I think this is for me. No, it's not for me. And I can understand that, you know, it's very understandable to start to feel um, insecure and stagnant um, and like all hope is gone. Do you know what I mean? But you are being pushed here to sort of just empty those boxes, clear out that energy so that you can create space for more inspiration and feel that new energy coming in. So that's what you need to let go of. Let's see what rune we have to go with that. So what rune is in what you're leaving behind? Yes, a willow. So <laughs> you have the ability to intend what you want. You have the ability to bring towards you, to manifest what you want. This is like the sun card in tarot. Now, if you allow your dreams to go by the wayside, you're not going to feel fulfilled. And what you're being called upon here is to set an intention of what you need to let go of in order to move forwards. OK, you really do need to take on that energy of really letting go, letting go of what no longer serves you, letting go of the pain, allow the sun energy to soothe that pain like a hot water bottle on a sore tummy. That kind of energy is what Suillo brings. You need soothing you need healing and I do feel that you are perhaps afraid to move towards something that brings you that comfort maybe for fear of you nestling into that and then it going away or breaking your heart again but I don't feel that's the energy for this I feel this is something that's actually bringing you a lot of peace um feeling grounded feeling rooted connected and stepping away from that heartbreak from that heartache that you've experienced before you know stop letting that hold you back it's time for new intentions and new inspiration to come through okay i'm going to put that right in the middle of the heart <laughs> so we're now moving into your strengths what could your strengths be your strengths are the page of pentacles this is someone that is moving into new opportunities with a sense of calm and rationale. You are, your strengths are being able to make your plans a reality. Now, what I find interesting on this is look at the person's foot. They've got roots wrapping around on there. Now, I've mentioned roots a lot during this reading. You have an opportunity to feel grounded, to feel secure. It's a new beginning that is the chance of a new connection, a new beginning, a new start, and it's there for you. It might only start with one pentacle, it might start slow, um, but it is feeling quite grounded. Now what's interesting on there is like what they're standing on is like a mosaic. Now if you've ever seen um, monks like making a mosaic is sort of it takes a long time like they do it with these powders and it takes an absolute age to do it and that's kind of like what you're doing here is creating a new mosaic I feel 
within you and that's why you've got to clear out all the shit <laughs> you've got to clear out all the past stuff so that you can create this beautiful mosaic for yourself you are the creator of this but you have to let go of some things from the past in order to enable it you also have to allow your true colors to shine you have to allow yourself to be seen fully um so that is also allowing yourself to be open, to be taught a new way of being. And I do feel there is somebody coming into your life that is connected to this. This could be the new connection that you're looking for that is actually got the ability to teach you a more inspired way of living. Let's see what room we have for your strengths. Rado. Following the beat of your own drum. Uh, this came up yesterday in a reading I did and there was a woodpecker behind me. Um, and it is following that beat of your own drum. You are on a different path now, a different timeline. A new journey is before you. And that is what the strength is, is recognising the opportunity. So if we go back to the challenge, make sure you recognise this opportunity that is available to you and you don't miss it. Because it would be the perfect complement to what you need to change or are feeling like you need to change right now. If you stay stagnant, you're not gonna find it. It's not gonna happen for you. So this is a time for really recognizing um, those changes that need to be made for you, with you. The initial R might be relevant to you. This could be in somebody's name. Um, it could be in your name. It's possibly another, um, confirmation that this is a reading for you so if everything has resonated with you so far and this letter is in your name as well then this is for you definitely um you do need to find i feel some of you you need to find some balance with this connection though because maybe in the past there has been imbalances and that's what's created a disharmony <clears throat> and that's why you're now feeling this kind of insecurity about stepping into something new again but actually there is a chance here for creating that harmony and that is through not trying to find out the outcome is just enjoying the journey just being present on the journey and being open and honest allowing things to unfold organically that's what i've got for you on there future your future <laughs> is the emperor now this is a very solid this person is a leader. They know what they want. They know how to go after it. Look how confident he sits there. Compared to that King of Wands in reverse, you know, your future is looking very different to that. Same energy, in a way, you're still this powerful person. You do have a very powerful magnetic energy about you. Um, you probably find that you're the kind of people that, person, people, you're the kind of person that people gravitate to People just talk to when they see you out and about or will smile at you. Um, people are generally attracted to you, I feel. Um, but this can also be in your future about you allowing somebody to take care of you. So an emperor is somebody that kind of like sits back and is, well, yeah, that's a bit rude. But like, you know, has people wanting to take care of them? And I'm getting an energy within this reading of somebody that has been feeling insecure, has been feeling a bit low in themselves. You are actually manifesting that love energy of somebody that wants to look after you, somebody that wants to protect you for a change, somebody that wants to give you that care and love and attention. And that's why you're sat here in your future in the emperor energy, because that's what's lacking here. But it's lacking because you're afraid to open up to a new connection for fear of it breaking your heart and hurting you. So let's see what room we have for your future. Yeah, Bacano. Again, a very nurturing energy. Bacano is like um, a grandmother energy somebody that really just wants to nurture if you look at the b on there it's kind of like a, a voluptuous sort of you know like the pregnant woman's like the big boobs and the big belly and it's all 
ready for nourishing the child okay it's ready for nourishment and i feel like that's the energy in your future is like you're ready to be nourished <laughs> i'm not going to go any deeper into that but this is kind of like you being feeling like you know this new beginning is actually fulfilling and nurturing um and allows you to really be the leader in your life and stand in your power now, that's not me saying that you've got power over somebody else and they're like a slave to you. It's more you being in your power, maybe as a leader, as a counterpart, being together. And I'll come back to that in a minute because there is a counterpart within this reading, which is quite phenomenal, really. That's quite amazing when that came out. Um, but this energy is like a new beginning. It's a fresh start. Um, Bacano kind of represents a rebirth. So it's like your chance to be born again, almost but in a new way, in the way that you want to be seen, the way you've always wanted to be seen, the way you've always felt you could be or should be. And it's kind of, now I don't know whether you're, you're male or female, it doesn't really matter whether you are, but there's that saying, isn't there, of sort of like behind every great man is a great woman. Behind every great woman is a great man as well. So, I'm getting the kind of energy from that, that it's sort of like there is this lover coming in, this energy coming in, a new connection that if you can let go of that rope and allow yourself to um, be present in it and do the work within it, then actually it is going to bring you that fulfilment. It's going to feel like a bit of a power couple kind of energy that I'm getting from this. And that new beginning, that fresh start. Um, and what might be holding you back on here is actually what other people think or feel about that. Um, you know, the thought of people being like, you know, well, who are you? And, oh, you're doing that to impress them. Or you you're you look different or act different when you're with this person. Almost like you, you're under the thumb. You've lost yourself to this person. But that's not true. You were already going through a rebirth yourself. Um but it's through fear that it's become stagnant because you have this fear of being hurt, of being, you know, being misunderstood. So that looks like a very positive future, to be quite honest. Let's see what your advice is, because this was an interesting one, actually. So your advice came out as the moon, which for advice that would be about following your intuition on how to go about the situation so it's basically like trusting in your instincts but of course you wouldn't be watching a video like this if you trusted your own instincts if you knew what to do you wouldn't be sat here watching this you'd just be going and doing it so you are i feel maybe in two minds the dark and the light there you know there's an energy that maybe something feels quite easy quite simple and then another energy of sort of like, but this feels like it could actually take work that I need to do on myself. Am I prepared to do that? Or am I going to get bored and stagnant? Am I going to um, <clears throat> you know, start to feel reluctant to do that? But this is actually asking you to have some compassion for yourself and work on self-love. And it's almost like, you know, if it's meant for you, it will welcome you with open arms. If it's meant for you, it will it will be illuminated to you. It's going to be shown to you. You can't step away from something that's meant to be on your timeline, okay? It will find you. It will find you. You may find you've had connections before where there's been no effort in meeting that person. You didn't even go online. You didn't even um, have to do anything much, really. This person just kind of aligned with your path. And that's the kind of energy I'm getting from here for the advice card is almost like, you know, allow things to align. Yes, there may need to be action taken in order for things to progress. So if you're feeling like, you know, to get out of this stuck energy, you need to do something, then go and do it. That's following your intuition. That's allowing yourself to trust in the process of what you're going through. But if you hold yourself in a place of like, nope, I'm not moving, I'm not doing anything then you're kind of holding yourself back from this opportunity. So let's see what we have for advice from the runes. Yeah, daggers, which is again, another intuitive one. This is about enlightenment, understanding, 
I did a post about enlightenment earlier, which was basically uh, about Buddha and how Buddha found enlightenment. So through all of the practices of meditating, of starving himself, of torturous practices, basically, um, to try and find enlightenment. And none of them worked. Nothing worked. Until, I think at the, I don't know, about 29, 30, something like that, went to go and thought about, so intuitively was given a download about going to a tree, an apple blossom tree, that he went to as a child. Always liked that place, always felt nice there. So I went to the tree, sat there, and it was the feeling of being there that just felt so much contentment. There was nothing else that mattered. Pure detachment, pure just being. <laughs> and that's what we are, we're human beings. But how much being do we actually do or is it more doing that we have now? And when we're doing, we're not really being. So what this is asking you to do is follow your intuition as to what you're guided to do. Okay, so if you are feeling an urge or a guidance towards something, allow that to happen. Allow yourself to do it because it feels like the energy of you going against the grain a little bit for fear of heartbreak. So this is asking you now to actually stop going against the grain, stop banging your head against a brick wall. And what actually, rather than punishing yourself, can you do that feels softer, that feels easier, that feels really, really, I need to swore then, that feels really simple and easy, but actually brings you the most fulfillment. So that is the advice that we have for you on there. Daggers, that illumination, switching on the light. Um, it is quite a fast daily energy as well. So this could be in the next day, in the next 24 hours, that you start to get an intuitive download, for like, well, I need to do this. This is what I need to do. And you will feel it so strong, you, you will know. It might even be as simple as like, if this is a connection with somebody else, you might have a feeling of like, I need to go here today. And this person might have the feeling like, I need to go there today. And you meet up. It's that simple, that simple. So we're gonna have a look now at your environment. So what are the forces in your environment right now is the two of pentacles. Now this can be about flexibility, um, juggling. I've got a real heavy energy here of somebody that's sort of like, you're wanting to uh, do this or think about this, but this is pulling you back. It could be work or other influences that are in your environment right now that are holding you back from really fully embracing what it is that you are wanting here. And this is actually causing some disharmony for you. It's what's creating this feeling with that King of Wands in reverse of frustration and impatience because there's actually some this opportunity is kind of like hanging in the balance up here and you know you don't know how long that opportunity is going to be available for but this is kind of pulling you down over here because and it does look like a purse it looks like um a bag you know that you would carry money around in there's almost like a feeling of a need to do the work um get the money in and things like that so it's almost like well this, i want this but i've got to do this i don't have time to do this and that might be another thing that holds you back is feeling like you haven't got the time for this opportunity and that can make you feel sad um or make you feel like you've you've lost out there because but again we're looking at this of sort of like well if something's meant for you it will all be in divine timing so any opportunity that's for you can it really be missed obviously yeah if you take like years and years to move towards it it's probably going to be missed or be a complicated situation when you come around to it but Dagaz is kind of suggesting a fast energy, a quick turnaround here. So I'd say it might be time to sort of be just trusting in what you're guided to do. And if that means, you know, well, OK, so I'm going to finish work an hour early and go to this particular place. Do it because it might just change your course and bring you closer to what it is that you want. So let's see what rune we get on there for your environment. Because it is really external influences that are holding you back from this. 
<laughs> okay, so we have Gebo, the kissing rune, the love rune, the rune that is all about balance, giving and receiving. So there is a need for you to create balance in your environment here of giving and receiving. Now, this might be maybe even if you're really, really busy, even if you feel like you're absolutely juggling completely, is there any element of something that you can do to, to let this connection know that, that you are, you're ready for it? And this is an energy of like, maybe you don't need to go about things the way that you always did. Maybe there is an element of being able to go slowly, but making sure that you are kind of keeping your energy flowing within it that's gaining balance that's that's being flexible and that's what the two of pentacles can represent as well on there is the ability to be flexible the ability to create balance and gebo is all about that balance between the masculine and the feminine there's a lot about balance and power between masculine and feminine it's almost like i'm feeling the energy of a masculine that feels out of balance right now and is calling in a feminine to rebalance. Now, again, I might be talking to some females here who are kind of in their masculine energy now that are needing a masculine to come through that's got these feminine qualities to soften you back into love. And again, the other way around, you know, if you're the masculine that's feeling this kind of insecurity energy, you may need the inspiration of this feminine to come in um and bring you out of that it does feel like you're in a position where if you've been on your own for a little while and i do feel if this resonates with you you are somebody that hasn't even been dating or just hasn't been maybe in a relationship for a little while and there is a time now for you to really be needing this balance between masculine and feminine and yes we should find that within ourselves first so i mean that's why you've got that as your advice because self-care and compassion is ultimately really important here but in doing that you're going to find that actually if you open your heart to this opportunity you manifest in it you're bringing it in but you've got to allow yourself to receive it and gebo is the gift gebo also represents a gift that is given um it's also like you know the cross when we when we send cards to each other we put little kisses on don't we um, so it kind of represents that as well. We're all we're all putting runes in cards and you didn't even realise it. <laughs> but it is that kind of like, you know, sealed with a kiss. I just thought just Jason Donovan then. Do you remember that song, Sealed with a Kiss? Um, I used to love that song, actually. So this is an energy of getting that balance between giving and receiving. Um, and it doesn't need to be a lot. But it's just if this is important to you in your environment right in the environment right now you're being asked to look at what is bringing disharmony to you what external influences are creating an imbalance and is there any amount of energy that you can put into this new opportunity that will help you to bring that balance back in because i think you'll be surprised as to what you might find on there bear with me a second I just got rather thirsty there. Okay. Now, interestingly, your hopes and fears, we got two cards for this. So hopes and fears. Yeah, that's right. We got the six of pentacles in the reverse and the queen of swords. Now, the queen of swords is, can be quite prickly. <laughs> it's a very direct communication of truth and integrity. Um, and logically thinking about things as well. Now, this card in reverse, normally when it's right way up, is about balancing, giving and receiving, which is interesting that we've got that there. So maybe the fear here is that there's going to be an imbalance in giving and receiving. And that might be that you feel like you haven't got enough to give. Or in the past, you've been the giver. And you found the other person is just been taking from you, but not really giving. So what it's suggesting in here with hopes and fears is there needs to be some communication about creating balance and harmony. So it's kind of like cutting through the illusion of, you know, if, if it's discussed, if it's an open communication, then there can be no illusion, can there? Because you've expressed what you feel. 
um, you know, there's a need here for opening the heart and really bringing some honesty of sort of like, right, you don't have to go, you know, oh, in my past relationships, I did all of this and they did nothing. It could be that you're sort of like saying, you know, this is how I roll in relationships. This is what I would like from you. And this is what I'm prepared to give to you. And if you can have that open, honest and authentic conversation, then it does create that balance and it takes away the fear, the fear of somebody over giving um, or somebody over receiving. Um, you know, it's about allowing truth from the very beginning. If there's truth at the very beginning, then there is nothing to fear. There's nothing to worry about. Let's see what rune we get that goes with that. So hopes and fears, just one rune. Yera, so yeah, there's a need for, um, you know, going through cycles. This is like you going with each other and sowing those seeds. So it's almost like, right, we're going to have a row of potatoes here. We're going to have a row of carrots here and onions there. Do you agree? <laughs> Do you concur? And if that person is sort of like, well, actually, I'd rather mix it up and have this, that and the other. And you can come to some kind of compromise. Whereas if you just went ahead and did it anyway and then pretended to that person like, oh, well, um, you know, I sort of just assumed this or, you know, they're going to know at some point when they grow, aren't they? They're going to understand. They, and then they're going to feel like, well, you lied to me. You didn't tell me the truth. Why didn't you tell me the truth? And there's also this energy around this of, you know, what was I going to say there? Of needing to really be honest and open and do things together as like counterparts rather than somebody being the one that takes all the action and makes all the decisions and the other one just goes along with it. It's like a balance between give and give and take. Um, yeah, so it's like there's no hidden things and it's like going back to that analogy there of like growing things together. You know, if they say, well, actually, I don't really like carrots. I only like potatoes or something. But you can be like, yeah, but I like carrots. So can we? And, you know, that person should, if they respect you enough, be like, yeah, of course. It's just that I won't eat them. Um, and that's that's what you want is I do feel part of your hopes and dreams is kind of like, can this be consistent? Can this manifest and bring us to a bountiful harvest? Or is it going to be a barren, um, you know, is somebody going to forget to water the garden if I don't do it? Or, you know, is this person just going to sit back while I do all the work, wait for it to be grown, and then um, I'm going to be expected to cook it all as well? So these are all the things that need to be discussed so that you are moving through those natural cycles of growth together rather than separately. OK. But that feels like it's something that's on your mind anyway, is you're with that man as energy. You are asking yourself these questions like, can I can I share? Can I give and take? Can I go the full hog with this? And again, with Uru's, it's like that staying power, that ability to be grounded and rooted into this. I do feel like you're asking yourself all of these questions. You're wondering about this. And so far, <laughs> it's not looking too bad for your future, is it? Because we had that emperor there. So it's like, you know, if you do decide to go for this, I mean, what more can you want from your life? Um, standing in your power, you know, what would the other option be? Pretty much the same. Holding on to that rope. Um, maybe connections that don't feel as powerful or or just being on your own. If you've got an opportunity there and it feels like something to go towards, we need to remove and stop being stagnant in fear, um, you know, and find that inspiration again. Release the insecurity and move forward with it. So that brings us to our outcome, which you can't actually see in there, I've just noticed. And it's quite interesting what we got. We got the Queen of Wands. So that means we've got a counterpart there because the overall current situation was the King of Wands, even though he was in the reverse. So the outcome is this energy coming into your life, this opportunity here that is helping you 
to find your confidence and your power again and ultimately move into this energy okay that's a powerful that is quite a powerful um way of life i have no doubt that there is something very promising coming into your life at this time and what you're being asked to do is to gravitate towards it to open up your heart to find that compassion and love within yourself so that you can give that being open and honest finding flexibility in your approach to gain that balance between the masculine and the feminine but this is a divine counterpart type of reading that i'm feeling from this like i say if it's not to do with love if that's not what you're looking for in this reading it could also relate to just a lifestyle choice of what you're moving towards but there's definitely an energy i do feel of somebody coming into your life which could be female um again it could be male but owning those kind of energies of somebody that's very positive and confident um determined like knows what they want in their life and has the ability to kind of like grab you in your insecure energy and go like come on i'm going to i'm going to inspire you and i'm going to get you to feel really good about yourself um and raise that vibration so that you are then matching each other and that's like a power couple kind of energy so this is the queen and she has the ability to put her king in the upright position okay um that i can't really say any more on that really because it kind of explains itself um you know there's a real determination on that one someone is there is that opportunity in there if you open to this connection that person is going to really help you find your confidence find your power and they're going to treat you well <laughs> they're going to you know give you a lot of care and attention by the look of it yep and the outcome here is t was so this is commitment to yourself so i feel in the past you've had connections like this where you've really lost yourself where you felt trapped by it or you felt like you don't know who you are anymore and it's all been become about the other person become about what they want what they need um but this is you're going into this in a different energy and this energy connection feels like it's not asking you to lose yourself it's actually asking you to access your higher self it's asking you to stand up for yourself um to sacrifice what no longer serves you and to move towards something that you can commit to so it does ask you for commitment but commitment to yourself do this for you commit to you and allow this energy to complement what you already have on there and i do get this energy of like it's flowing it's free it feels very light it feels very um secure in itself which is going to help you to feel secure in yourself okay so that is your celtic cross reading for today if that resonated with you and you would like to ask more questions or go into this in further detail my details are down in the description box now i do tend to do personalized readings as a full reading but i have recently had lots of requests for just one or two question readings which you can order a one or two question reading at a fraction of the cost um, so if you would like to do that drop me an email um, and i can get onto that and give you your answer within like 12 hours usually sooner than that it might be one to two hours depending on what i'm doing or where i'm at um, but i will definitely give you a time frame on that and it will be no more than 12 hours before you get your answer so um, i hope you enjoyed your reading and i hope you have a blessed rest of your day take care